Hey guys, good morning here. Got a lot going on this morning. I was going to show you all a few of them. Um, cleaning up the pastures. You can see the mess. This is the time of year you want to clean it up. Because before we know it, the grass will be so high that you won't be able to see it. And then you'll find it with your lawnmower. So this is the time to get the string and the wire and stuff that will be covered up fast. Uh, here are the chicks. They're out eating today. And actually they're mad because I'm not feeding them. Uh, I usually fed them first thing in the morning. And now I might wait until around lunch to feed them. That way they come out and get bugs and stuff like that. I have 40 uh, hens, pullet, young pullets. That's a little banny I hatched out. And then I have 50 of these broilers. And that's actually a hen there, but let's see if any, there's a boy over there. But broilers, the, the roosters have already gotten really big, so I'm happy about that. Um, so we'll put about 50 broilers, I'll sell them or put them in the freezer, and then I have a bunch of hen chicks to sell um, later on and keep some. Pigeons are doing good, have four on nest, so we will see how that works out. Yep, and I got to get them some more nest. I just fed them, so now they're all just sleeping. Good for nothing pigeons. Alrighty, as you can see, the smoldering fires. I burned most of the uh, hay piles today. This is the time of year to do that too. Um, wait till a nice day like today where there's barely a breeze and just set those suckers on fire. Make sure you are not next to a forest or dry ground or anything like that, but around all my piles was green grass, so it won't go nowhere. Um, so you just set them on fire and let them smolder and I'll probably have to do it twice because it's not going to go all the way down So I'll do it this time and then in a couple it'll rain and soak it down and then in a couple weeks I'll fluff it back up with a pitchfork and burn it one more time. Um, I have to move this shed here to uh, Be able to burn this one. So I haven't done over here on this side of the house yet all the sheep chewing their cud I just fed them too. got a bunch of lazy animals. Uh, I was going to show you this. This is their mineral uh, feeder and I I swear by it. Uh, my sheep have minerals year round. Um, and this is just a tractor supply sheep mineral just for sheep. Uh, the cow eats it and I'll go show you but as you can see by her she just turned a year and she was raised on a bottle and then I got her and she's massive for a bottle cow. A uh, neighbor has some that he got the same time I got her and they still look like calves and she's already looking like a cow. Um, so she's eating this and it hasn't hurt a cow. It hasn't hurt goats. I've had goats eating it. Um, but it's, they get it year round. The back of that sucker's full. They can have all they want. This, on the other hand, is this time of year and in the fall, um, it's, uh, powderized lime. And it seems to help with the sheep's feet. I've been trimming their feet, but sheep just have bad feet. They, not bad as in like, um, a bothersome, but you need to trim at least twice a year. Um, and if they start limping on you, get in there and trim them. But this time of year when it's so wet, it's easy for, if you haven't trimmed them lately, that flat, uh, and you won't know uh, unless you've done it, but the outer hoof wall uh, folds in and makes a pocket that traps bacteria. And if you don't cut them in time, then that bacteria spreads and it makes their foot sore. Um, well, I figured out that this, I put this out probably, this will last for about three weeks to a month. Uh, I put it out right after a rain or right when we're about to have a week of no rain. Um, and all it is is powderized lime. I know the animals will have to go in here to eat minerals, and I know they all do. If you didn't have this set up, you could do it at a gate where they go in and out of all the time. And what it is, is it, this is just, a, a, it kills the bacteria in their feet. And so they walk in it, and it gets in, in between their hooves, and it dries that moisture out um, quicker. And so it doesn't have time to fester. Um, and so so far, I've had really good, uh, really good with it. Uh, some that were barely limping stopped limping. Um, and some that were limping bad, once I trimmed them and got them done, uh, they healed faster. Whereas before, it would take them about a week to stop limping. Now, it's two or three days. Um, and once again, all this is powderized lime. You get it from any feed store. Uh, one 50-pound bag does me three times. This is a third of a bag, and I just spread it out. That way, they walk in it when they come to get minerals. Uh, but that might be something you might think about. I lost some of my trees. Uh, they ate on them too much. I didn't protect them good enough. I lost this one and one over on the fence row. The other three, if you can see, if I can be still for a second, the other three out there doing great. I lost one, two, three. No, I lost one out of the five. My apple and three of the others are doing great, but one little one died. They just ate it. It was my fault. They they ate it up, and I didn't have it protected enough. Um, here's the sheepies. And, buddy, being a lazy good-for-nothing dog, aren't you? Good for nothing. 
the chicks out eating, sheep out being lazy, good for nothings. Let's see here. This is the other, uh, and I've shown y'all before, of course they're waters. The uh, fresher it is, the better they grow. Um, the fresh does not mean that you have to clean out moss. Moss is fine. Moss grows in fresh water. Um, the, in the summer, what I see a lot of that is the only thing that I think is really harmful to them is people will have metal tanks. And to be um, uh, good, they only fill them about a quarter full or half full. And they tell me they do that. That way they can clean them out every couple days. Yeah, but in doing that, that metal is going to heat up so fast that that water almost comes to a boil. And those sheep, it just, uh, ugh, it's just nasty. It's a metal taste, and it's hot all the time. So you want cool water, and you want water that uh, would be inviting to drink. Most of the sheep are shedding, and so there's hair everywhere. It looks like a butcher yard. Chickens are eating leftover feed. Looks like hair everywhere. Um, this is the second uh, dairy. This is where I feed all the uh, lambs. They go right through there where that chicken went through, um, and it's amazing how fast they learn. They're they're real easy going at that. They they know how to. I think I've got nine that are eating now, and so don't feed them too much. You can get them the scours really fast. You just want a few handfuls, two or three times a day. I do it morning, noon, afternoon, and uh, before bed, and I just put like six or seven handfuls in there, and that way they they eat it up in maybe 20 minutes. But you don't want enough that they all leave and one gorges itself. There's a sweet little girl that I'm going to keep. Isn't she gorgeous? Um, let's see here. And then I got a new... Got a new set over here. You okay, Mama? You're okay. She had twins. This is her first time. If you watch some of my year-old videos, she was born here. She's out of Creamy. This you that's standing up. Uh, she's 14 months. And she had two... Uh, you, two lambs, one boy, one girl, and she they're doing great. Yeah. They're not listening to you, Mommy Bird. Talk to them. There you go. Teach them. They're about 24 hours old, and they're doing great. No, no, 36 hours old. Here's the next youngest here. He's growing like a weed. This is the mama that uh, um, prolapsed, uh, but she had this ram lamb, and he was big to begin with and he's growing like a weed and of course here's just some more lambs all the older ones are gone I think the oldest ones I have out here right now is that that tan one laying by his mama and this one laying right here and they're about six seven weeks old um, and I'm almost done with babies I got one little you that'll be your first time <laughs> over there that little solid white you laying down right there she still has babies coming but besides that that is it um, <laughs> These right here are precious. <laughs> That's her. They were before, they were after, no, they were before the this ram lamb over here, and she had two little girls. Only problem with this mama is she likes going through finches. She has part goat in her. And if she can find a hole big enough to get her head in, she's going to try to go through it. And so I don't want to get rid of her because that was her first time, baby. She's the same age as this mama. She's uh, 15 months old. And she had two ewe lambs the first time and raising them like a champ. So I really like her. Her mama is this solid black ewe right here laying down is her mama. And her daddy was my original uh, Katahdin ram from the first group that I ever got, if you want to look back and see. Um, let's see. Say that one, I got to trim her foot. And if you look, let's see if we can look on this one. Can you show me your hoof, mama? She's been a real good mama. She has two ram lambs. Pick up your foot. You can't see, it's turned the other way. But it's just too big. I got to catch her and cut her, and it sounds easy, but it's not because uh, my boy helps me. But we try to do three or four a night, and that way we can get them all caught up this time of year. Um, don't you run away from me. Uh, let's see here. What else was I going to say? Oh, poopy bud. This time of year, this one here, I got one that's really good, really poopy. Where are you at? Where's that real poopy bud at? Mm -hmm. Right? No, that's not her. That's not her. Oh, well, I guess she's sleeping somewhere else. But uh, poopy bud is normal this time of year. It's fresh grass. It's green grass. It's coming out. Uh, when people ask me about that, it's uh, you want, if they have poopy butt and fat, 
you're okay. It's when they have poopy butt and they start losing weight that you're going to have a problem. That means they're probably wormy. You need to worm them. Um, that was this one's case right here, creamy. Uh, she had poopy butt like two or three others, but her she started losing weight. And so I wormed her and she snapped right out of it. Uh, but that that would be the difference, I'd say, is uh, between poopy butt and not. But... Well, alrighty. Well, I'll let you go. I'll do a rabbit update. I got some cute baby rabbits. Uh, I'm cutting back on the rabbits some. I just got too many, but I'm still going to have plenty to keep y'all happy. And I will do an update of them soon and post that also. But just out here working. Turkeys are doing great. Getting uh, an egg every day to egg every other day. And I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> That's her little boy. That girl I showed you that was just so pretty. That's her little ram lamb right there. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.